thread about how to be more inclusive to non-binary people within the trans community. This is about in the 1990s, and they used this, this is red. Oh, it's blue. They used this term a lot. Trans. And trans with the asterisk, it's really important that you remember it, means that you are going out of your way to explicitly state that non-binary identified people are welcome in that space that you're including them in what you're talking about. But not only does it include non-binary people, it includes people who are transsexual but don't identify as transgender, are transvestites but don't identify as transgender, anybody who is under the trans umbrella but doesn't necessarily identify as transgender. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so for the sake of this discussion, I will be using the term trans and we can pretend that there's an asterisk in my speech bubble. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. So, has anybody here heard of the term non-binary before? Awesome. Uh, what are some examples of non-binary identify like identities that you know of? Gender fluid. Gender fluid. That's a good one. Anybody else? Go ahead and shout it out. Androgynous. Androgynous. Any others? New choice. New choice. Perfect. It's okay if there aren't any more. <laughs> Gender gifted. Gender gifted, why not? Trust me. <laughs> that is a terrible D. Okay. So there's gender gifted, gender fluid, androgynous, neutroids. Uh, there's also androgen, which is really similar to androgynous, but more like a noun. There is gender queer. By gender. By gender, perfect. A gender. Excuse my French, but gender fuck. <laughs> um, that's all I can think of off the top and, of my head. Is like being asexual? Yes, but in regards to your gender. Um, you can be agender and be asexual at the same time. Um, agender means that you do not, at that point in time, identify with a gender. Just like, you know, if people haven't heard the term asexual, meaning lacking sexual attraction. Um, so yeah, I don't want to say that these are the only ones that exist because they're not. Um, they are not mutually exclusive either. You can identify as more than one of these things at the same time. You can identify as genderqueer one day or bigender the next, um, which is why gender fluid is an awesome term. Um, are there any questions about any of these terms? about what they may potentially mean. The new choice is a new one for me, so... Awesome. Um, so, I want to be clear that, like, when talking about gender identities, it's not like a dictionary definition. Nothing is set in stone. Kind of like how we just mentioned that what it means to be a man, to me, may be different to Dylan, right? And our definitions of masculinity and or manliness are may be completely, completely different. And so on that same note, like, when talking about these identities, it might mean different things to people who identify with them. Like, for example, I know a lot of people who identify as genderqueer, but identify as binary, in that they are men who perform their gender queerly. Does that make sense? Awesome. So, new choice is often really similar with androgen, um, identifying as gender neutral, uh, if that makes sense. Yes? Yeah. I don't understand any of <laughs> well, I mean, you don't really have to understand a gender identity to recognize its existence. Well, I recognize the existence because you guys are saying them, but I don't know what any of it means. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, gender fluid, meaning that you don't always identify as a single gender. Um, that it can be a day-to-day -day thing. Like, I, for example, identify as gender fluid because I don't always identify as a man. Um, sometimes I identify as gender queer, meaning that I don't identify as either a man or a woman, but not necessarily in between, just not either of those things. Um, gender gifted usually typically means that you like to break gender boundaries, meaning um, that you can be a really femmy dude, or you can be a really masculine woman. It doesn't, gender gifted is a playful term, typically, and has a really wide variety of meetings. If you ask different people, they'll all give you a different answer. 
Um, androgen is really similar to androgynous, meaning that um, in the Greek it's a combination of, you know, androgen, meaning um, man and woman. Uh, but again, it doesn't always mean the same thing. It can mean being, it can mean identifying as a place in between male and female or man and woman, right? Gender free, we just went over by gender, meaning you identify as two genders at the same time, or you go back and forth between those two. A gender meaning that you don't identify with a gender, and gender fuck is also really similar to gender gifted in that you like to play with gender. Awesome. Did I that I talked about that? I have a question. Yeah. Um, being that I'm I'm transitioning. Yeah. And I just started my tea, mm -hmm. noticing the different little manly things. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Wonderful. Um, what I'm wondering is, I don't like. The, the the female feminine she her stuff yes anymore it pisses me off mm -hmm. and I try to deal with it from those that I care about like my mom mm -hmm. or people close to that yeah totally other than that anyone else they might catch a fist <laughs> um but <laughs> what I'm wondering is at this stage where I'm just now going into it yeah and I've been born a born female for 39 years, mm -hmm. and now going into this, am I like a bi-gender? If you want to be. Okay. Um, the way that I see um, identities, and I was actually going to talk about this in, when dispelling some myths, um, the way that you look does not mean anything about how you identify. Okay. And the way that you identify does not mean anything about the way that you look. Oh. Um, so if you want nothing... Nothing dictates your identity mm -hmm. other than you. Okay. So if you want to identify as bi-gender, go ahead. No one's stopping you. If you want to identify as genderqueer, by all means, it's not my place. Okay. Um, telling, there's actually a term for that, telling people how they can or cannot identify is um, identity policing. Oh. Um, okay. It's completely unacceptable behavior. Uh -huh. um, so if somebody ever tells you, like, oh, well, you haven't been on testosterone long enough to identify as a man. You haven't had bottom surgery, so I'm not going to refer to you as the right pronouns that you like. Okay. Um, you're not a man to me because of blah, blah, blah. That's or because you were born female. Yeah, whatever okay. that whatever yeah, that even means. He's being told by people that that's because bullshit. he wasn't yeah. born. That's yeah. bullshit. Um, yeah. Sorry. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not their place. That's not their place no. to tell you that, ever, at all. Even, like, your mother? Yeah. Even your mother. Who gave birth to you, you know? Yeah. Even, mother, even your mom. Exactly. And you want to know why? Because it's not your mom's body. Right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Good point. Yes. And the story.